This is John the Baptist. He is one of God's prophets who will prepare the way for Jesus. And these are the Pharisees who did not like what John was teaching. Let's see how God is at work in the story of John the Baptist. John lived in the wilderness, eating locusts and wild honey. People came to John to repent of their sins and be baptized. Pharisees wanted John to stop baptizing people. But John would not stop. <laughs> Some people thought John was the Messiah. But John told them he was preparing for the Messiah. When he saw Jesus, John knew this was the person God had promised. John was confused when Jesus asked to be baptized. After Jesus was baptized, the Holy Spirit came down like a dove. Ah. <laughs> Jesus was God's son. Oh, 
This is Jesus. He is starting his ministry and calling people to follow him as disciples. And these are the disciples, who all had very different lives before they followed Jesus. Let's see how God is at work in the story of Jesus Calls the Disciples. Sagami. As Jesus traveled, he would invite people to join him in his ministry. Hana. He invited fishermen. Sagame. Um, it's me. Ah, uh, it's me. Son, it's me. Go to the ship. Jesus called the poor to follow him. <laughs> and he called people who were sick or disabled. He invited the wealthy to join him, too. different people. But not everyone who was caught was able to follow Jesus. like Matthew were known to be greedy and mean. Two. Three. Sagame. But when Jesus called Matthew, he followed. Hey! Hey! Fishermen, Peter and Andrew, to take him out in their boat. <laughs> they still weren't catching anything. Black and a sheep. So Jesus told them where to cast. Many men and women followed Jesus and helped share God's message.
This is Jesus and his mother Mary. They are going to a wedding in Cana. And this is the steward, who is in charge of the wine for the wedding. Let's see how God is at work in the story of Jesus changes water to wine. Everyone at the wedding was having a great time, but they were running out of wine. <laughs> When Mary told Jesus the wine was gone, he asked for six huge jars of water. Surprised. 
the water had become the very best wine. performed his first miracle. Jesus, and these are the disciples who are followers of Jesus. Let's see how God is at work in the story of Jesus Calms the Storm. Jesus would spend the whole day teaching people about God's love. Orlando Mefledo. Huh? Oh. Jesus decided to travel by boat, and the disciples joined him. <laughs> As they started sailing, Jesus took a nap. terrible storm arose. woke up Jesus, hoping he would save them. Jesus 
Jesus said they should not be afraid, but should have faith in God. Jesus told the storm to be still, and it stopped. are the two builders from a story Jesus told. They each want to build a house. Let's see how God is at work in the parable of the house on the rock. <laughs> Jesus said the wise builder is one who builds their house on a rock. Jesus said the foolish builder is one who builds their house on the sand. Hmm. The house on the rock stands. Hmm. <laughs> ah! 
built on sand is swept away. Jesus said that people who listen to his words and act on them are like people who have built their house on the rock. 